So then later that night when he came home, I was like, I'm just having anxiety. Do you mind just going for a drive with me? And he's like, sure. So I drove as slow as I could. Back to that house. Back to that bitch's house. And what'd you no say? I way. was like, who lives here? And it was the hostess of the restaurant that he managed. Oh my God. You're so then I kidding. punched him in the face. Get a girl. And I told him to get out of the car. And three days later, I moved out. Welcome to Out and About. It's Friday. Um, no, you don't get to say because I'm the, oh, I'm yeah, the yeah, host. Take today. it over. You're in the thing. Take it over. Take it off. Wait, I need to put a fake nose on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back in Out and About. I'm your host, Pat Cleveland. And with me, as always, is my fat gay friend, Zach Vassy. <laughs> Uh, we've got a great show for you today. We've got Lauren Compton on the show today. That's how he talks. Very funny. Co- Wait, we've got a great show for you today. we got Lauren Compton on the show today. I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. Well, I actually am booked and busy. I have to do, I have, to, I have a waxing appointment after this. And by waxing, I mean, I'm going to be waxing people around the office. It will be waxing people around the office. How was your, la- how was your day last night? Last night was just a dream, Joey. Every day of my life gets better than the next. You know how that goes. Well, I'm on the Mediterranean diet, going strong. I only had, I allowed myself a Pause. glass. You were on the Mediterranean I diet. I am still on the Mediterranean Please. diet. Please. Okay, I'm doing a 16-8 fast. That means I eat 16 hours a day and I fast for eight. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> I eat for eight hours a day. You and eat 16 I, meals a day. I eat 16 <laughs> meals a day. I, I ate, I was supposed to cut myself off at nine o'clock last night and I had two turkey, meat, turkey veggie meatballs. At 11. Why is that plant moving? That's Sandra. Oh. Um, I ate two veggie meatballs at 11, so that means I can't eat till three today, which is fine because I'm gonna be, I'm busy all day long. Well, you had to soap her down. No, he made no, he made a dozen. He threw eight out in the trash. You had to soap them down so he didn't get back in. No, no, no. They're, they're, you know what? Believe it or not, I probably lose when eating these meatballs. Just, can I give you my recipe what I put in these meatballs? You're supposed to bring in meatballs. I'm not going to make them, but tell everyone what's their uh, recipe. Okay. Ladies, if you're doing a diet and you want to eat a li- like low, the lowest calorie, most satisfying filling, fiber filled, Meatballs, what you got to do, get yourself some lean ground turkey, okay? 99% lean. You're going to put that in the bowl. Then you're going you're gonna, gonna to bl- uh, blend up all, any vegetables you have in your fridge. I did zucchini, spinach, red peppers, mushrooms. <laughs> you did every vegetable known to fan. No, that's why they're, that's why they're fiber packed. There are more veggies in them than meat. And oh. you mix as your meatballs. And then instead of using breadcrumbs, use ground flax. Oh. That up your fiber. It ups your protein and ups your 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 all, everything. So and that's gonna be your binder and a little egg white, a slush of egg white, whatever seasons you like, garlic, onions, peppers, whatever. You you put, ball them up, put them in the oven, bake them, and you have them as your fisher meal prep all week. Literally, you lose weight showing them. It's like celery. I am just imagining you soaping down. I can't get that image out of my head today. Where are you? Where you over order or you over eat and you th- to order to pull yourself off. I it. only do you a Domino's. You throw it in the trash and you so. You know, I know why I do. I, you know, I only do a Domino's because Domino's is the only food that you can put in the garbage or leave out for days on end and it tastes exactly the same as when you <laughs> yeah, got it. Yeah. It's like, like yeah. it, won't, it won't spoil. It's, it's like the there's McDonald's. so much preservatives in there. It won't spoil. Like the fries with McDonald's, they'll show like a fry from 1986. Like, I'm not like kidding you. The, the, this weekend, get fucked up. Order a Domino's pizza and leave it out at night and the next morning eat it or even we eat it the next day and I guarantee you won't get sick. I mean, I don't want. You might want to fact check that. That is that's cold. That, Domino's might be my favorite oh, thing yeah. to eat when I'm so hungover. Good. Oh my yeah. God. I will say it's Joy. That's the funniest thing you've ever told me. Actually. What? That you soaped down yeah, your food. That, that is still funny. You've never done that. You, you never ruined your food. Never, you never poured salt on it at a restaurant when you don't want to eat any more chips. Joey, the image of you in your kitchen in like a beater and boxers Putting, the putting glasses on, putting Dawn soap on your food so you don't eat it as like a last ditch to <laughs> to control yourself. I guarantee you, it's at least, at least, at heard. least ten man mafia members watching right now have done that. Oh my god! If not god. more, you know, Marty, you never said to do that. You had a weight problem. You know that. You never, yeah, but you I never, never ruined your food at the you dining, at a restaurant. I'm, I'm trying to uh, at definitely. a restaurant. You never pour like hot sauce everywhere or put your so- splash your soda on your hamburger. So you don't eat anymore. Soap no, I, I, I never at a restaurant. I probably had. Uh, no, I think I just throw it out. I think I just throw it out. But you would, and that was enough. What happens if you get back in? Get, 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 <laughs> what happens if you get in the bin like a like a raccoon late at night? <laughs> now Marty comes out and he's got two black eyes. <laughs> she starts whisking out like a like a coon, like a rabid coon. Now her feelers are going out. Marty put Marty She's puts looking. in a uh, one of like the the furry butt plugs with the tail on it. And he goes he goes full. And back. scurries out. <laughs> yeah. Haley finds him in the living room, goes through the trash. <laughs> the, the garbage can's dumped over. Garbage she, has a, she has a banana peel on her head in the corner of the cup. Thing. She's all. Oh. Now he'll strap himself down before he goes in. 
Oh my fucking God. Soaping down your food is so fucking funny. Yeah. If anyone soaped down their food, um, keep it to yourself. <laughs> no, no. Um, I also am allowed to have red wine on my Mediterranean diet. Good for you. I'm very happy for you. You forgot everything uh, in the Hamptons. So you need Every to fucking treat yourself. Every fucking thing I left in the Hamptons. First of all, I'm missing a makeup bag. Now, I could have just, no, my, my new makeup bag, because I got my new, my new, all my products. I went to Sephora the other day and got all new stuff. Yep. And I downsized my makeup bag, so I don't have to carry that big thing around. It, by big thing, it was a literal rolling suitcase. So so I, I got, to, I, I remember I left the Hamptons in a huff. But so I, never, I realized I left my Taft shoes there, my very expensive, nice shoes. I left my bathing suit there. I left my prescription sunglasses there. I'm sure my makeup bags there. I just can't find it. Um, all my shit left in the hand. Thank God I'm going back for Labor Day. Remember, I got invited back. Remember when you couldn't form a sentence on Monday after after the Hamptons? <laughs> after my stint with MDMA? After your stint with MDMA? That was a good time. It was a very good time. Yeah. She probably has my makeup bag. She probably, she probably does. <laughs> I actually that. think one of my cleaning leaves put it somewhere. And I don't know where it is. And there's three of them. There is three of them. I'm just shake them down. Well, listen, we shook down Lauren Compton, who's on the show today. Can I say how uncomfortable I was the entire interview? I've never been in a room with someone that beautiful in my life. I'm not kidding. And I hang out with celebrities every day. <laughs> she was. <laughs> you are just like. That's, no, but the fact that you said that with a straight face, like if I had didn't look at you, you would have just kept it going. I've never been in a room with someone that beautiful in my life. Like I'm not, it, it made me uncomfortable because it's like almost like, like I felt like I'm not straight or I want to sleep with her, but like I felt like I was afraid she was going to like, to, to like deny me sex or something. <laughs> or like, or like not sex or like deny me. Like, cause I, put, God, yeah. like, I was going to ask her on a date. Like, Oh, I think you're beautiful. We're going to date. And I felt like she's gonna be like, Oh, uh -huh, that's, that's very sure. Oh, okay. Tubby. Yeah. No, she likes chubby guys. <laughs> yeah, she does. She is intimidating. gorgeous. She, she is, is the most like, beautiful yeah, woman. Beautiful. I don't think I've ever been in, in a room with. She was more and funny and talented. Yes. And, yes. Keep going. Keep going. And keep she going. has, she has something to say. She does have something to say. I will say this. I, uh, her podcast is called first date with Lauren Compton. It's like a half hour long and she does like, appetizer main course dessert questions it was i truth be told i just started watching it when i found out she was coming on it is awesome like her guests are awesome she gets a ton of views um and she's hilarious so we flipped the script on her she told us an absolutely insane story about uh how she found out her ex-husband was cheating which like gave me like good it, it yeah. was horrific um but very funny interview you guys are going to absolutely love her. Um, click that like and subscribe button if you're if you want to help us out. That's right. And um, other than that, do we have anything else to say? Death to Whitey. Um, I hate Shia Diaz and Brittany got divorced. See you next week. Live Mucho this summer with your favorite tequila or seltzer. It's Mamitos. It's time for Mucho Sun, Mucho Music, and Mucho Tequila. Mamitos comes in seven delicious flavors, mango, pineapple, lime, and the new cocktail pack, Paloma Spicy Margarita. Um, classic Mark and Tequila Sunrise. No matter what you're drinking this summer, Drink My Meat is only 95 calories, gluten free, um, only two grams of sugar, and is refreshing, delicious, and it'll give you the buzz you need. I feel like we have earned the right with Mamitas to go off script because we've been drinking it for so long. It's like I love, I love Tequila Seltzer. Mamitas makes the best. Tequila I can seltzer. have, I can have Mamitas on my Mediterranean diet. Believe it or not. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's why you look so trim and you're so glowing and happy. Well, looking snatched. You're looking snatched. The drink of summer is made with real tequila at only 95 calories. Find Mamitas at drinkmamitas.com or order on GoPuff, drinkmamitas.com or on GoPuff. Now back to our interview with Lauren Compton. Uh, we're here with Lauren Compton of First State Podcast of uh, Playboy fame. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, thank you for coming on. Thank you for We're having We're so me. excited to have you. We're just saying you're shadowing. Joey's a little under the weather. And I'm sitting in a different seat. I normally sit there, but I need to be closer to the air conditioning today because I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. I've been pretty hot too. Walking these streets of New York is yeah. no joke. Where do you live normally? Austin. Oh my God, how fun. Yeah, I like it a lot. South by Southwest is there. Mm-hmm. The most liberal Texas uh, uh, city is it? I think so, Texas right? It's like the liberal? most progressive. Progressive, yeah, yeah. No. You don't get you don't get um, lassoed for being gay out there. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, right well, away. You, I you wouldn't just get mind spanked. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just you get, get a little tap on the butt. <laughs> um, how's your pod go? You're on your mom's house studio, so you work for for Tom. How's that like work? You work for Tom, Tom works Segor. for me. Tom works for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's fun though. Yeah, yeah, we just started this podcast. We released episode nine oh my on God. Tuesdays. Everyone so. is ripping. I looked at like all it's, you have like a million views like on all your well not a million, <laughs> but we're well, more than we get on our, on our views. It's doing wild, yeah. weirdly good. Yeah. yeah. Did you do stand up before? I've been doing stand up for like eight years. Forever. Did you do stand up while you were like doing Playboy stuff? No, I did Playboy and then I did acting 
Okay. And I had a run with acting. And then I was married during that time. And when I got divorced, I started stand up to deal with my depression. Right. Of course. <laughs> Women comics always have a hard time getting started. Do you get uh, criticized because you're so pretty in the, com in the comedy world? Like, people not take you like, seriously. You're really? never, never going to make it. You're too pretty. No one, yeah, you're, you're, no one, nothing's funny about a pretty person. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Not you. I'm just saying yeah. in general. That's why I said like, that's why yeah, I feel yeah, no, so ugly. Yeah, for sure. Like us. That's why we've had so much trouble. Yeah. We I know. Just, we're I, so gorgeous. I'm, I'm no, shocked it's, you guys like, are so successful. No, but it's like it's like a known <laughs> thing that like no people don't like don't they're mad that they're that they're hot yeah. and funny. It's like people don't take it right seriously. We have it all. Yeah. Look I at know. us. Look at us. Why? Look, why? At, <laughs> look at us. <laughs> the three of us sitting together. No, this is like crazy. I actually hate this seat. I'm usually in Joey's seat. This is like really, you're caught in like the middle here. You don't know where to look. He's shadowing. She's giving ping pong. <laughs> She's giving. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you decide to do your show? Like, were you just like stand up is I'm over it? Or you're still doing stand up? And then you're like, I want to start a podcast. And then Tom reached out and like, how did it all it, come it, together? I, it's, so you would never guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I do sketch comedies. Yes. And a lot of them go really viral. And I had one uh, that they had seen and then they emailed me and they were like, hey, we'd love to like talk about doing a podcast with you. And I thought it was spam. So I just deleted the email. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was like, yeah, right. Like I'm so sure Tom's emailing me. Yeah. And then I like went back and I was like, but what if he is? Yeah. Right. And so then I hit them back. We had a meeting. Um, one thing led to another. It took a year to develop the show. Oh my God. And a year to develop wow. the contract. And then yeah. we couldn't decide what we wanted to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And once we got that all settled and we probably did. kept getting involved and yeah, yeah. she was like, this, this, blonde bitch, this blonde bitch ain't yeah. coming up in here with the big titties. <laughs> 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 Took 20 episodes that you'll never even see yeah. of mock episodes. Just oh, trying to oh, figure, right. figure out the angle of the show. They didn't want to do an interview style. They wanted something more POV. Tom, uh, we, it was well, a that's lot. why it's so successful it in the first lot. nine episodes. Yeah. You know, you took your time you to figure it out. But they it's like, if you don't know first date, I'm sure you guys know what it is. It's like, it's like they're all 30 minutes basically. 30 minutes, right. Yeah. And it's, you ask questions as if you're on a first date, which is what we should do, but we don't prepare. I like 30 minutes. That Now that sounds appetizing for me. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's, um, it's great. And your guests have been huge. You've had Ron White was absolutely hilarious. Who was your favorite you've had so far? Hmm. Ron was great. Whitney Cummings was great. Oh, I love Whitney. Awesome. She was really fun. Yeah, yeah. Tom, of course, yeah. was fun. I've got Matt Reif coming on. Oh, oh. that's gonna be interesting. So, that'll rip. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> Two fat, ugly people sitting in a room. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert! I've known yeah. for a very long time. <laughs> now that's, now so. that's shade. <laughs> now that's shade, dear. I texted him. I was like, "Come on my show." Yeah. And he was like, "Okay." With your shirt off. Yeah. Please. Don't wear clothes, and I won't either. <laughs> Just have. On naked podcast. Oh my god, that would be good. Patreon naked pod or an OnlyFans. You could do a live stream on an OnlyFans. He has yeah. OnlyFans. He doesn't post anything on it. It's like it's me. A, it's a, no, Matt Rife has OnlyFans. He doesn't post anything on his OnlyFans. No, he does, but he doesn't post his dick. Well, yeah, you can get away when you have a face like that. You don't. <laughs> that's because he has like a vagina. Comedy. Oh, yeah. That's probably why. <laughs> he, has a, he, has a pussy. he has a pussy. Actually, a pussy. Oh my goodness. You're covering your tracheal scar today. I am. Yeah. I don't want anyone seeing. I had it shaved down. I'm can we talk, are we allowed to talk about Playboy? Because I'm interested in it. Yeah. Or is that like something you'd want to like stay away from? I can't. You don't give a how fuck. do I stay away from yeah. My, yeah. my past? How did you like, how did that come about? And like, how much was your involvement in Playboy? Like, how did, how did you get, did you get scouted? Were you like, I want to do this? And you done you model? It was a like, dare. It was a dare. Oh. Yeah. So my cousin auditioned for Playboy. And when she auditioned, she changed. She used to be this like punk rock girl, like oh. steel toed boots and everything. And then one day she gets like fake boobs and like hair extensions and nails. Oh, get it, changed girl. her whole. She transitioned. She right had for your whole, very eyes. She ping ponged. Yes. yes. And I was that. like, I was like, whoa. <laughs> what happened and there? I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm gonna be a playmate. Well, it never worked out. She went and auditioned, changed a whole. What state was this in? California. Okay. The only state that something like this could yeah, possibly yeah, yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ohio. Yeah. Um, she uh, auditioned and then she never got a call back. And I was like, well, maybe. If I go with you. You go, you put your hair back. Let mama show you how it's done. Maybe you <laughs> yeah. have changed your whole look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I was like, you were so beautiful before. And she's like, well, you can't judge me till you walk a mile in my shoes. You would never do something like that. And I was like, actually, Watch I would. Me. And she and so she set up an audition time for me. It was like in San Diego three months later. And she's like, I dare you to go. I was like, fine. 
So oh, I went. Sh- oh God. And then like on my way to the parking lot, they were like, do you want to work for Playboy? Cause we'd love to have you. Was she mad? Um, she didn't talk. <laughs> you, you still don't talk to her. <laughs> See, I still haven't oh, seen her. Really? I haven't heard she from her. She got married a week ago and I was not invited. Stop no it. Kidding. I'm serious. <laughs> wow. Did she have a black goth wedding dress? Did she go back to her roots? <laughs> yeah, she went back to her roots. <laughs> she, she's like, cut my life in two pieces. <laughs> Hates me. I'm pretty sure I'm even blocked. Stop. She definitely has this voodoo doll of you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she's going to pop your boobs like this. Boop, boop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's an audition for them? Like, you just go, it's a test shoot, essentially? You know, it was, yeah. um, <laughs> you go into a room. <laughs> it was a huge room. Uh, there was like a chair. And I, you wear lingerie. And so I was wearing lingerie and the photographer was like, all right, just stand next to that chair. Click, click, click. Turn sideways. Click, click, click. All right, take it all off. That's how Demon Twin got hired. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> she came in with a, with a tattered lingerie piece that she got at the thrift store. <laughs> she got from the $10 store. Yeah, and they're not. like, just take it off. Yeah. So then you just kind of stand there shocked. And you're like, okay. Did they make you ice your nipples? It took it all off. Do you ever, did you ever see the Burma Showgirls when they make you ice your nipples? Yeah, so they pop out. Yeah, I do that all the time. My nipples are always hard oh. in every photo. I think they're hard right now. Kind of girl. Yeah. Did you uh, did you live at the mansion? No. 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 Did you meet Hef? I did. What was that like? Well, it was during a bad time. Oh. It was right when <laughs> Crystal bag. never showed <laughs> oh. up to the wedding. It was oh. right when what? Crystal didn't go to the wedding. Oh, yeah, Do you remember yeah. he was supposed to get married yep. and then she was like the runaway bride? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. that week. You go, hi, it's my I'll first stand week. It. Why don't you say, I'll stand in. I, I volunteer as tribute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I see, sign this quick paper, Jeff, before we start. <laughs> Anyone have a pan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, that was not the best experience. Oh, yeah, he was upset. But, you know, everyone has their days. And then how long were you there for? And then why did you leave? I worked with Playboy for four years. Oh um, I did four special editions in the cover. I was going to do... But be a playmate. They offered it to me, but then the contract really fucking sucked. What's the difference yeah. between a playmate and, a, and a, a being a playboy? If you're a playmate, you have one month and you sign a two year contract and they own you exclusively. So for the like, month? Any photos no, you for take? For two years. No, you can't even, like, if Bud Light came to me as yeah. a playmate afterwards right. in this contract and they were like, we want to pay you $10,000 to do a post on social media. Playboy could veto that and be like, no, actually we work with Miller Lite, so you can't take that opportunity. Oh, Sounds eerily shit. familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, and at the time I had a lot of opportunities right. that were even bigger than the ones I had with Playboy. So I was like, I can't sign this contract, but if you want to work with me in another way, and then they offered me the cover. So the cover had no contract, also paid significantly more. And I was like, these other bitches are dumb. What is a playmate's responsibilities? Because you can be on the cover, but you're not a playmate. That's correct. So so playmate means you're a a contracted playboy model. It's like a full-time You are contracted. You are- And how many pictures do you get then? Every every month you get a picture in the magazine? It's just one month. That you have the spread and the cover? You never, you don't even have the cover, but you have to spread. You have the okay. name. Oh, <laughs> okay, I see. It's it's basically yeah. the title. So you yeah, get yeah, the title, right. and then you become a representative of the brand. So they send you like on a little press tour. You go to clubs, nightclubs. Yeah. Playmate once a play, every every month. There's a new playmate. Every month there's a new playmate. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's the what's the pay like for a cover? Is it like signet like in term? You don't have to say the number, but like in terms of like the contract that you were going to sign versus yeah. the cover, it's like significantly astronaut- more. So that's like the best deal because then you're in and out. You can then and there's go no do your contract. Yeah, and there's no contract. So I negotiated that. Oh my god, I I would imagine like working with a company like Playboy, it would be tough to negotiate. Like, a, did you have an agent? Ah, uh, no. You just did it yourself. I had been working with Playboy for years though. And I really wanted to work with them in the magazine because I had done a lot of television stuff. Yeah. I hosted one of their like biggest shows. And um, I think it was mutual. I just couldn't sign the contract with the roles that I was doing on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I was like, I'm literally cannot sign this. Right. And so they just slipped me a better deal. <laughs> they go, okay, never mind. We'll, we'll give Do you, you have more money. you have to say in, like, in, the, in the shoot or they kind of take it all over? Like no, what you want to wear, what they, the vibe is? Unfortunately, you have no say. Yeah. You go in there and they can take any pictures they want. You have to just protect yourself. And there's a few photo shoots that I did not protect myself enough. Yeah. And like, what so, do you mean? Like just they like, were just like in positions you're like, no, I don't want to do this. Like the lighting would really right. suck. And my hair would like look like shit. And I would look pale white and just right. shadows in certain places that just <laughs> really, you know, 
make yeah. me look black from the waist down. Like <laughs> I wish I looked black from the waist down. I'll tell you that just- much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hung like a toddler. Um, <laughs> So, you know, so, unfortunately, he's hung like a 12 year old uh, Cambodian boy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, he's, you, you have lights at your desk. You're always lit up. At your oh, desk. I have to be lit at all times. Uh, he has like a full. The second you hit yeah. over 40, you have to like to carry your own ring light around. And we're, we're a blurring, a blurring primer. <laughs> <laughs> blurring primers are my favorite. I know. You look hot today. Thank you. you I did you do your own makeup? I did. I'm a makeup artist too. Oh, I wish I would have known. Everyone that. say you look like, like a hot, um, um, Hillary Lizzie Duff. Dwyer, yeah. Yeah. That, I get that a lot. Only I my teeth are real. Yeah. Oh, hers were, <laughs> hers were, she got that chop job. Yeah. She did? Well, she talked about it before. Like, she was young, she was getting into the thing, and she, she got, she got veneers. No, she got veneers, and like, you know, the, the dentists were like, you know, they called her and probably did it for free. Yeah. And she got big, they were just too big for her mouth. Yeah, they she were huge. Thing. They were like Sarah, <laughs> what was the horse face? Sarah <laughs> who? Jessica Parker. Parker. Sarah Jessica Parker, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. What's the horse face, Sarah <laughs> Jessica Parker? And then Parker. you guys knew. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's one guest you're not getting on your show. Yeah. Chef Sarah, would you like to come in and address yeah. the guy? And address the guy? Well, I'll have her come in and address that horrible reboot she's That's in. That's what I'm going to yeah. ask Tom next. Can you contact Horseface for me? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Love to have her on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that horrible reboot from it. Oh, do you watch oh my God, do you Wait. watch it? Yeah, yeah, do, do you, you watch reboot? it? No. Oh, I don't either. No. I can't do it. It's too woke for me. And I like to stay right where I am. <laughs> yeah. <What do> <laughs> Good old time. I like, I'm a gun tone American. I'll say that much. <laughs> I'm like kidding. I don't oh, vote. Okay. I, I legally can't vote. <laughs> I legally can't vote. Um, who comes up with the questions for your show? Because mm. we're going to ask you some of your own questions. Oh, I love how, that. To see how you answer them. We both do. You and Tom both I would sit say, and, well, my producers. Your producer. Yeah. So I've got two of them over at the studio and we all work like, I'd say equally hard on them, but I have a menu and then there's appetizer questions, main course and a dessert question. And uh, sometimes like I'll be watching a show and I'm like, you know what? I want to ask someone this specific question. So I'll just text them, add this on the menu. And then I try to switch them up. And we get. I love it. So you text in themes still. Add it to the menu. Yeah. Like, no, don't add it, <laughs> add to, the it to the menu. Add yeah, the menu. No. Yes. Yeah. It's like method acting. Do people ever refuse to answer? No, but I do ask people if they need a safe word before we start. Luckily, I've had some wild people on my show yeah, right. that are like, "That was that was mild," and I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well." But I know we don't have a safe word. Then I just ask the next day to take everything out that we've talked about. Yeah, we usually get a text yeah. from the PR person being Same, like, "Can like, you uh, remove that? Can you remove that yeah. pussy image from the?" Yeah, from the that one face. was hilarious. That was the the <laughs> yeah, we were showing. We had like we have spread twats on the screen and like. Cause she's a lesbian. We said lesbian. She must love spread up pussy. So we put it all over the screen. And the agent says, you know, her wife wasn't really okay with that. <laughs> Fortune Fumes. Fortune. We would do uh, Matt. We would do like, we would do a game where you would have to match the dick to the face or you match the vagina to the face. Yeah. And so it'd be like a matching game. Yeah. But her Fortune, publicist did not like that. Yeah. Her no. publicist yeah. didn't like it. I love that. They were like, we never want to talk about that. And now it's what you guys talk about the most. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So jokes on you. Yeah. yeah. We we'll actually have a game for you today. I'm joking. <laughs> Maybe next <laughs> your vagina and face. <laughs> have a, a, a good old uh, mix up. <laughs> A puzzle, all, if you will. All black, all yeah. poorly lit vagina pictures. Yeah. Just the worst. That's, yeah. God. Uh. Pale skin. Um, that's funny. What kind of questions are you asking these people? For like when an appetizer question is like, you know, something more timid. And then the main course is like, is like, you know. A little deeper. Deeper. And then the, the juiciest one is the end. The the sweetest one is at the end. Because I'm usually trying to find people's red flags. Okay, yes. got it. And so at the end, I give them a little bit of revival. Let them. Recover. Well, you want to end on a good note. That way they come back. Yeah. If you, if you, it's called marketing. It's called marketing. <laughs> I try to market myself in a way where I'm like, we really do like you. Yeah. What's so it's take, sorry, it's taking such like a good up, like it's uphill uh, right now going, what was your a dream guest right now? If you had to make like Besides dream guests, you can't pick us. I guess Joe Rogan. Isn't he like yeah. the yeah. cream of the crop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Rogan, maybe Dave Portnoy. Yeah. Uncle yeah. Dave could go on. You're like, who's that? Mm-hmm. No, I would love <laughs> no, to have yeah. him on. He's Well, he's owns the company again. So now he's going to be doing a bunch more stuff and he's not afraid to talk. That's good. Nice. Yeah. Can you ask us an appetizer question or a main course? Yeah. Um, Where's being here to do our, her show at our Hold on. Yeah. I got to think of some of my favorite ones because there's like 50 on each one of those. Um, <laughs> what is something I can ask you guys together? How do, let's say that... Um, Oh, this is a fun one. Let's say that you're on a date with someone and you're at a bar and you're like, before you guys met up, smoke show, 10 out of 10, you're like, um, this is the one. But it starts going really bad. They oh. get fucked up 
on alcohol. They don't know how to handle themselves. Mm. What do you do? What's your exit strategy? Well, <laughs> for me, I would still go home and suck their dick, and then I would, <laughs> yeah. I might never call. They're drunk enough, and you know. Yeah, I mean, how hot are they? I might, I might even take some, you know, take something from their house. You go you through know. their handbag. You go through their handbag, <laughs> transfer money from their phone to my account. You I, are I would get, so smart. Yeah, I would do that first, and then I would get out of there and never call her again. Him again. Them. Them again. Them again. <laughs> Trish, what would you, now, Trish, no, Trish actually would be the drunk I would one on the, the date. Drunk. You'd be, be the, the drunk, drunk one. Yeah. I drink on every, every date. I like, if back when I was like dating, I would obviously, I would have to get drunk on a date. So has oh, anyone yeah. not called you back because you got too fucked up? Oh God, yeah. I haven't called <laughs> back because you got too fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. That's happened. I feel like if you're dating someone, you have to get drunk on the date. Isn't that a normal behavior to do on a first date? Well, not what? fucked up. No, not on the first date. You can, but like you can, I feel like if I go on a date, I can gauge if someone is like a party or not. And if they're like a party or I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, let's get drunk and then fuck. But if it's like, they're like yeah. a little prude, it's like. Uh. Do you think it's a red flag if someone's sober? Like, yes. yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is, it is a red flag. I think people that are, I mean, my heart goes out to your sister, but I think you should get to your, you should never get to a place where you have to completely cut something off of your life. Right. Ever. You should well, get to a place where you can like gro real growth is being able to manage yourself and, and not, not give into the temptation of, of horrible activities, like little things like, you know, you with carbs. <laughs> <laughs> Are like you with, are you with pink, years ago? Are you with she, pink can, she can't go next to a pita pocket <laughs> for four miles and her husband's Greek. Yeah, not so. banned from, I'm banned from the local pita pit. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like alcohol, like, you know, like I'm not saying you can do heroin, like, you know, here and there, but it wouldn't it be great if you can get to a place to just like casually do heroin? No, it wouldn't be good. It's so to relaxing. Do yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's, I think if someone doesn't, like if someone drinks and stops, that's one thing. But I think if someone has never had a sip of booze, I think that's more of a red flag than someone who's sober. Because you're, you're weird. If you've gone through your whole life and you've never had a drink, that's a weird behavior. Mm -hmm. I think there are valid reasons to stop drinking. I think being sober is sweeter than never drinking. Really? Yeah. Do we have a girl here who's never drank? Who's here I don't know. Drank? I can't imagine being that uncurious that you would never try booze. Yeah, right. Like that's so, but that is bizarre. That's yeah. Chris D'Elia. Oh yeah, totally. He's never been drank booze. He did never that stuff yeah. sober. Tried alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, nope, never had alcohol. Wow. Yeah, that's strange. That's like that's a that's a form of mental illness. Never having alcohol. I feel like. What's your vice? <sighs> red flag. That's a red flag. You, uh, what, your vice is red flag. Oh my vice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought I said my advice. advice. No, no. What's your vice? Like I'm like it's a fucking like, red flag. Like one thing. Like one <laughs> thing that you like that you that you know is bad for you, but you keep, keep doing cocaine. Yeah. I got you, girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mine is Diet Coke. Um, and also cocaine. And also cocaine. <laughs> yeah. I like anything that alters my state. Like, I love caffeine. I love booze. I can't. But also, I've heard that, like, if you are like that long enough, like, being sober becomes the drug. So it's like being in that state. Oh, I of like, like that idea. Nothing else. It's like, oh my God, I'm high from being sober because I've been fucked up so long. I I'm want that diet yet. form. <laughs> yeah. I want yeah. that diet form. Like, you yeah. know, like, like being like eating, eating like nothing is like, is like f as fulfilling as or eating. As clean. Eating. Like I can't, yeah. I don't know how to eat. I don't know how to eat well. Like I don't You're know skinny. what's you don't healthy. You don't have to eat well. Yeah. But I'm skinny fat, which is worse than I think being regular fat. Right. Yeah. It's I don't not. know who's regular fat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your, so. What's your red flag? We're taking, we're sealing your format. You do realize that, right? Yeah, we're changing It's it. a fun format, isn't it? No, yeah. it's the best because it's like, you can just rifle through questions. Should we just do our, should we just rifle through our questions right now? Yeah. We My like, toxic trait, my yeah. red flag. Um, I have a few. Where do I start? Um, I would say one for sure is that I read the comments on Instagram. Yeah. Okay. That's a red flag. I shouldn't do that to myself. It's like very, um, what is it called when you do something mean to yourself? Self-sabotage. Self -sabotaging. It's self-sabotaging. You're a cutter. Another with an M. Emotional cutter. It starts with an M. What is M. It? it starts with an M. It's ma masochist. 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 Yes. yes. Oh. It's like I, I'm a bit of a masochist in that way. I love it. So, You're a glutton for a little bit of self-harm. Yeah. Mental self-harm. I mean, I just got to know what people think about me. And then yeah. usually there's nothing positive because they're like, oh. My red flag is I'm very, I need to be in control of everything. I'm very controlling. Like I like to like, I have I have to make the plans and say this is what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. God, I need you in my What's life. I love someone who makes plans. I'm a Virgo. Okay. Well, Virgos are usually good at that. I'm good at planning. Yeah, yeah. I give you all the work though. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Capricorn, so I'm I'm the, I'm the supreme planner. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Capricorn, I don't, Virgo, I don't let Virgo, you forget it. Virgo What's rising? your sign? Capricorn. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so these I, are questions that we also have on the menu. Yeah, yeah. What's Ooh. your love language? My love language is gift giving. 
No, giving oh, gifts, but not receiving them. Um, my love language is, I guess, quality time and words of affirmation. Mm. Yeah, I like yeah. to know, I need to be reminded, like, you know, that you're with me and that you love me, yeah. all that. And then just, just, just be there. You don't have to talk, just fucking be in the living room. Like my, 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 my boyfriend, like, when he's not there, I hate it. So, like, when he's there, I don't, have to, I don't talk to him. Just sit on the couch and don't talk to me. But just physically being there be makes in me the feel, room. yeah, makes yeah. me feel loved and wanted. <sighs> What's yeah, yours? I think that words, of, your words of affirmation have definitely rubbed off on me. Because now I'm so now I'm self conscious about certain things, but I think it's just physical touch. Yeah, definitely. That's like my biggest. oh, don't come near me. I don't have care. to be physical <laughs> touch. Have to be. Constantly, I'm, I run constantly hot. There's nothing wrong with having all five. Yeah. yeah. What are the others? There's words of affirmation, physical touch, time spent, gift giving, and receiving gifts. The what gifts? about gift giving? Well, you, you know received just you know like to receive gifts yeah, of the of the, of the viral love form. Too, but I don't remember what it is. But yeah. I don't do the gift giving. I don't really care about it. So just make me like, well, that's because you haven't gotten a gift good enough. I know. Oh, no, that's shame. No, that's shame. <laughs> what's, the be, what's the best gift? The best gift you've ever received. Ooh, diamonds. I got diamonds. a Rolex one time, oh my God. but this was all breakups. So the worse a breakup is, if you're with someone that likes to give gifts, yeah. the gifts get better. Are you single now? No. Oh, you're dating. I'm dating okay, a guy that owns about- a barbecue restaurant. Oh, how fun. Oh, if you guys come to Austin, we'll go. I would love oh, how that. fun. Yeah. Is he a pit master? <laughs> he was a pit master. Oh. Yeah, he learned nice. how to do it. Oh he my taught God. himself. Oh, my God. His place is fire. Oh, my God. How long does, he have, does he have a big beard? He does have a big beard. He, he actually looks a lot oh, like you. Does he? Is it, oh, my God. Is he husky? He's, he's yeah. <laughs> oh I love God. it. I'm just ruffles my feathers. <laughs> That's good. And you're happy. You look very excited. Oh, I love yeah. it. You look yeah. elated, well rested. Yeah, he's glowing. never allowed to leave. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. You love him. I How long have you been dating? About over a year. Stop. How exciting. He's cute. Uh, what's his name? Mark. Mark, stop. With a C or a K? With a K. Good. A C is not good. Well, that's your opinion. <laughs> Everyone no, says yeah, that. A C is weird. A C is a little Ooh. wild. They get, they're yeah. a little wild. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Good for you. Thanks. Are you? So yes. you have a boyfriend. I do have a boyfriend. Um, we've been dating uh, a year on um, this month. <gasps> the, the next week. Congratulations. What are you guys going to do for your anniversary? Um, Anal, probably. Well, we're going to go away. Anal. We're going away for Labor Day. So, um, but I think we're going to do a dinner in a hotel. I mean, like we go to a fancy dinner and then get a hotel room with a hot tub in it and just like hang out and yes. just, like, do nice things and just be cozy and cute. I love that. Yeah. I don't want to do a full vacation. I have to move this uh, in a couple months, so I don't want to spend like- Where are you moving? Thousands, just in the city. Oh, okay. Just in a different apartment. So we don't, I don't want to go crazy about it. So yeah, we're going to do something nice. And also, he doesn't really you know, think it's a big deal. He's calling it a fake anniversary because <laughs> it's like, what, do you, what would you say your anniversary? If you're, not, if you're dating your boyfriend, when do you say your anniversary is? The day you met or the, like when, did you ever, did he say, will you be my girlfriend? The day you, fu- the question was, it's the day you fuck or the day you like uh, make it official, you have a conversation. Well, I'm like more mental about it because I'm like yeah. the day that we met, we never ever were apart. That's what so I did. That's, that makes sense. That's, that's me. the day that it started. That's what I say. But if you're, you're dating someone and it's off and on for like weeks or whatever, and you don't see them all yeah, the time, you, and you're yeah, dating yeah. other people, then you have to have that conversation where they're like, "We are exclusive." That's and right. That's that's how I explained it. Uh, we were so confused about what it was. Thank you for explaining that. I say, the day we met, we haven't been with anyone else, right. so that's why that's our, our date. That's our the day date. one. That makes sense. Um. But yeah, so that's that. It's gonna be one year. We're really excited. He's twenty years younger than me, though. Oh, my boyfriend's six months younger than me. Oh my god, <laughs> Same dr- <thing>. dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> What's your type? Your physical type? Oh uh, wait, hold on. Twenty years. He's twenty four, and I'm forty four. You don't look forty four. Thank you. Right. Thank wow. you, Dr. Chitella. Is it Matt Rife? <laughs> It is <laughs> That's why he's not been texting you back. I mean, I'm I said, don't text that big titty bitch back. I said, I'm the only uh, b- b- delicious blonde up in this house, mama. I release, I release friends around the house. She's bundles. <laughs> around that, when he gets home, first thing he does is put his wig on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What did you ask me? I, I can't even remember. I can't even remember now. Her boyfriend. Oh yeah, what's like six what, months later? What's your type? Like, what do you look for in a guy? Is it like it's changed from guy to guy? Same. I've dated short. I've dated tall. I've dated thick, thin. You know, like all mm, yeah. all kinds. It just. I don't think I have a type. I don't either. I have an Short, inside thick, type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did that? <laughs> I like guys who want to be all about me. Yes. Well, I have that hard time. I had a hard time believing that people, people don't want to always be all about you. So like men, like, do men like, like breeze you? You know what that means? The kids say it now. No, no it's what is that? Go, I'm scared. No, they meant, you, I, I said I have a hard time thinking that men wouldn't make everything about you. Like I think oh. men fall on their knees when they see you probably. Um... 
Now, Demon Twink sees a black dick and she falls to her knees. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, Any is dick. it real? Is it, but like, can they keep that going? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it the can't be shot. just like a front. When you start becoming annoying, then are they going to stick around? Yeah. yeah. When well, they find out that I have a weird toe, like, yes. are they still going to be there? Like, <laughs> I need to know. You're looking at my toes now. And I wanted she to, and the I like tried. Right. I'll show you. No, you hold on. You have, to, you have to look at it the right way, though. Okay. I tried so, look, so hard not to look. See, I love those this shoes. One? How like? Yeah. Oh, these shoes are fucking me up. Usually that toe's not that long. Look at that one. Oh. Like, now it'll swell. Oh it's like ET's finger. <laughs> you should kill yourself. Do you see it? It's got a ball on the end of it. I'm surprised it doesn't light up. Oh my god, you poor girl. Yeah, if I were you, I'd take the whole foot off. Yeah, I thought about it. I was like, is there a plastic surgery stumped. for this toe? Like, what's going on? Oh my god, what's yeah. your biggest ick? My biggest ick. I'm literally doing your show right now. <laughs> I love it. Um, Tom made us do your show in yeah. order to come on to promote your show. You guys are <laughs> doing better than I am. I'm actually learning a lot from y'all. Okay. Um, my biggest ick is probably when when people do your show to you. <laughs> Um, uh, handkerchiefs on the first interview. I'm trying to think. Gosh darn, I haven't even thought about it. I'll you know what? If I've gotten, I, I don't do icks. If know. someone's like not, it, not you don't it, fuck with them. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sticking yeah. around to try to fix your ick. Yeah, yeah. You can just go be icky all by yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I like, I mean, I know no one's perfect, but you gotta. I don't like, like, Waspiness. That's I don't like star tonight. fuckers. You don't like what star fuckers? Like people that are like are like know that you're in the entertainment industry and just like kind of like hang out with you to get to like get connects with your uh, friends or like yeah. like uh, social climbers. I mean, I know I know I slept my way to the top, but still I'm here now, <laughs> so I could say this. But do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> people that like like you know that like only talk talk like want to talk about your yeah. famous friends people who like, don't give you the time of day unless they have something to gain or somewhere to go right. or whatever. I don't like saviors. I don't like people who come into a relationship and they want to like try to do your work for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I like to figure things out on my own a yes. little bit. What do you mean? Like do your work for you? Sometimes people, when you're dating, they can like, um, like it feels fake. And for instance, a guy can be like, so like, what's your biggest dream? And ew, then like, yeah. ew, yeah. right? Yeah. And then like, well, ew, I, I can hope, yeah. I can help you with that. I actually know someone. And it's like, it goes beyond yes, just ew. networking. Yeah. It's like someone who's like, oh, I can, I can call my friend and tomorrow, like I'll- Like you're not you helping, guys. you're just you're just being egotistical and like naming yeah. all the things that you yes. can offer to make yourself look better. You're not making help, you're wanting help. It. You're not you smarter wanna... than me. Like you don't know me better than I know. Yeah, yeah. like, I mean, that's, that's a nick. That's a really gross one. What's your biggest turn on? My biggest turn on is when someone listens. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> you still like, got it. You still got it. I would say that my boyfriend is out of all the people that I've dated. He's currently the best at listening because he can really actively listen. And you keep him in a cage. <laughs> and, and he doesn't talk and is duct taped. Yeah. And so, yeah. What's your biggest turn on? My biggest turn on it's pro this is like a pathetic one to say. It's probably someone who is like just nice. I know it's a really lame quality. Someone who treats you nice and someone who's funny. Funny uh, above mine's everything. Mine's physical. When you get older, Pete, the niceness goes away. So yeah. it's when you find someone who's nice, that's special. Right? Mine is but blonde, sun, blonde, sun, <laughs> sun bleached hair on tan skin. Yours is? Body like, hair, like blonde body hair on uh, tan skin. Oh, yeah. You Ugh. love that. It's the hottest. That's gonna, Ken. Yeah. I love blondes. Yeah. Did you watch that movie? I did. Did you like it? I no. I haven't seen it. No. You didn't like it? No, I thought People it was boring. Yeah. Really? Did you just see it? Really? I didn't see it. No, 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 no. I know it's, that's not what you're supposed to say. No, no, say whatever you want. It's bullshit. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, I just Michael? thought, yeah. when I think of Barbie, I think of really fun. And bubbly. Yeah. Fun and bubbly. Yeah, not, not a revolution. And I watched her cry a few times. And I was like, I don't want to see Barbie cry. Yeah. And so I don't know, I guess just like me and my little nine year old girl phase, I wanted to see a really fun, happy go lucky Barbie, not like a statement preaching to me, Barbie. Right. Yeah. What but, was it about? It was just like they flipped the script, basically. People were like the, really upset. Yeah. Well, it's just, it was just it's just they're, they're doing all the movies nowadays. They're, 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 it's annual, all about women empowerment. Um, and that's the vibe they're going for. But it's like they're, everyone's taking away the original stories of like 
everything. Like Snow yeah. White's coming out and she can't even have a boyfriend. Ugh, yeah, that girl Barbie. makes me want to vomit. hate her. She makes me want to vomit. You can't, Snow White doesn't have a boyfriend? No, she can't, no, no, can't, no, it can't be that. She, down with the day, she took the trip. She's no longer going to wait around for a boyfriend. She's going to um, be the princess she knows she can be and take on her own ventures and do That's and get, Barbie. And get her dreams. Oh, fuck That's exactly what That's what they're Barbie doing. Was. She was yeah. like, like, Ken was like, I love you. And she was like, oh, you're stupid. Go away. Yeah, That's weird. And it was like, Okay. Like, Love is men. okay. Well, anytime there's a, a you know, straight white men are are the the enemy. So we're out. We're <laughs> we're, we're, good. <laughs> we're good. Do you want to do obsessions? Yes, I do. So I play a game every week called Obsessions, and it's basically I'm just being nosy because I love a good a good um, girl gabbing fest and send, like, give me suggestions like, oh girl, where'd you get those shoes? Where'd you get this? What's your favorite thing like this? <laughs> what are you doing here? So I like to find out all the things so I can buy them for myself. Yes. Um. So they do switch, but today we're going to ask about what is your favorite beauty product right now. My new perfume. Okay, what is it? Baccarat Rouge. 540. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. No, no, I know it. I know it. It's a sweet scent. It's, it's, it's a gourmand. It's got a little orange it's, in it's it. It's a gourmand yeah, scent. Yeah, I've been, people have been hugging me and they're like, ooh, you smell good. And I'm like, oh, yes, thank very, y'all. It's very nice. Um, and then what about a current favorite snack? What are you, what are you obsessed with snacks, snack wise? Um, I love pistachios. I love pistachios too. Shelled or not? Not shelled. No, I'm not putting the work, work in. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, I like them shelled. I want to crack it open. That's like half the fun. My mom's the same way. Yeah. Um, what it. show or like movie are obsessed with? Are you watching anything salacious or fun? Um, well, I love vampire movies okay. and fantasy movies and stuff like that. Okay. So like Wednesday was always my favorite. Oh, I like that. That I was good. I love Wednesday. That was really good. And my latest not- sketch was a Wednesday sketch. Oh, very dark and lovely. Um, that's the name of a black hair care line. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about? It's not out yet. We're releasing it on I, black I Friday. I don't, I don't think that you. What about like your favorite product for the house? Like wh- whether it's like um, like a cleaning product or like a home like organizing product or like a blanket or a sh- bedding or a, a dildo. candle <laughs> or a dildo. Oh yeah, a dildo. <laughs> like, like, you know, um, anything at your house that you buy like, pussy. that you love to keep yeah. your house. To My keep boyfriend cozy. would be like, where? Yeah, is that? It's, it's hidden. It's in a vault. <laughs> it's on your waist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on your person? My favorite household item has to be my Dyson vacuum cleaner. Oh, which one do you have? It's just the light one. The stick one? The, the sh- is it the, yes, it's the stick one. It goes to the, the wall? wall? Yes. Does it work? My friend had like a bunch of, she, they keep breaking, maybe because she keeps breaking them, but doesn't clean them. But has yours lasted? Yeah. All right, good. I, have to, I think I'm And I'm pretty rough here. with it. All right, I'm going to get one for the new house. <laughs> She's just beating people up with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But and I like that because I don't have to sweep and I just. Yeah. Do you have dogs? I have one, but she doesn't shed. Uh, what kind of dog? Little teacup Yorkie. Mm. You would have never guessed. Anything, <laughs> anything else you're obsessed with that we need to know about? Like what are you currently like, uh, like obsessing about? Oh, anything? Oh man, I love to cook. Um, what are you loving to cook? I've been watching Masterclass. Oh. So I've done like all of Thomas Keller's oh, yeah. things. Did I, you do his potatoes yet? His, his fondant potatoes? I've, I, I did poured in. Oh, Keller. actually, wait. Yes, his potato puree. Yeah, yeah. I, the palm puree. Palm puree. Did you put the sieve and oh, go like sure this? Oh, sure did. I through? sure did. And oh, then good. I did Gordon Ramsay's duck with that. Oh, oh so get so it, you're girl. Like a, you're a, you're I'm, cooking. I mean, yeah. I like oh, got my God. actual Fucking Mark stepped in shit when you met you. Like... He bought me all, so I started doing this, and yeah. he bought me all new um, kitchen wear. Was oh, it from Car- Caraway? It was from Maiden. Okay. And so I've been getting like the more that I cook, and I'm bougie for him. The more bougie shit I get. Oh, back good. Get a, oh, have him get you a sous vide machine for the next time for the duck. What is it? Sous vide machine. Sous vide. So you basically it's the best way to make duck. So you put it in. It's basically it's like a little stick. It's like a machine you put into boiling wa- water, and it makes it puts a perfect temperature. And you put it in this bag, and it just gently cooks it very Stop. slowly. Unbelievable. So you yeah. do that. So you so you slowly cook the duck to the perfect temperature, and then you just take it out and you sear it, and then it becomes like the most juicy. You put steaks like that. Um, it's sous vide. I'll text it to you. Yeah. Get one of those. That'll really. You can cut steak with like the side of your fork. It's, yeah. It makes it so tender. Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah. Really, sous-vide. really. See, that's the kind of stuff that I'm obsessed with. Gently simmering. I'm like, yeah. Gently. <laughs> gently simmering. Yeah. Do you guys live together? We do. Do you have you, did you was it your home or was it his home? So we live in his apartment, but he bought us a house. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. So he, we're, um, what, renovating it? Yeah. 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 So he's changing all of it and it's Are cute. you getting a glam room? He always, yeah. He's like, yeah, nice. send me pictures of what you want it to look like, and I'm just like, stop. Oh my god. I need oh my a god. No, he's great. He's, I need to get myself a, a mark. He's cute. 
How long have you guys been dating again? Did I ask this? A little over a year. A little over a year. That's right. That's a, right before think, 4th of July. I feel like for straight people, that's like kind of a quick move. A year, right? To move in together? To move in together. I moved in, in, I moved well, in under a year, but I'm less. You have to remember you want. from yeah, day you, one. Yeah, if you know. He never, ever left. Yeah. You guys are like inseparable, basically. Yeah, I love him. Yeah. yeah. Well, you were married And before? when I love someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't go anywhere because they're mine. Oh my no, God. I'm just kidding. He's terrified. <laughs> Were you married before? I yeah. was. I was married for five years and I was with him for two years before that. So seven. And it was just like married young kind of deal. Um, well, he was from Italy and oh, uncut, he, an uncut queen. Mm, yes. And he couldn't move to America. Oh, unless we got married. Got it. Okay. So we dated long distance for two years. I'd go to Italy. He'd come back and. We got married so he could move to America. Where in Italy was he from? Bologna. Oh yeah. Yeah, um, but we're still friends to this day. Oh, that's good. So it wasn't it wasn't tumultuous divorce or anything. At first, it was. He cheated on me. Oh no! I, I caught that. him. I hate and that. And for two years, I hated him. Yeah, yeah. But then I realized that actually that was the best thing that could have ever happened. Yeah. For now me, you're Yorkie and Mark in your dream home. So I forgave him. How did you ca- how did you catch him? Well, he didn't come home one night. Oh, and well, and so, yeah. you know, 6 uh, a.m. rolls around and I'm like, where is he? So I went on find my iPhone. Oh, God. oh, yeah. And I put in his information and I could see where he was. And oh. I thought that he was like in a car accident or something. So I drove to where he was and it was a neighborhood. And I was looking around and I'm like, where in the world? And I look over and I see him walk out of this house. No. And I was like, oh, and he got in an Uber and I Both. just. Home. Bolted home as fast as I could. Got back in bed. Pretended to be asleep. This all happened in Venice, California. Oh my god! He I'm, walked in the been. door, and I was like, "Oh my god, where have you been?" He goes, "Oh, I was in West Hollywood. I got drunk. I stayed at my friend's house." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, yeah." He's like, "I gotta take a shower and then go to <sighs> work." Like the snurb off his stick. Yeah. So then later that night, when he came home, I was like, "I." just having anxiety. Do you mind just going for a drive with me? And he's like, sure. So I drove as slow as I could. Back to that house. Back to that bitch's house. And what'd you no say? Way. I was like, who lives here? And it was the hostess of the restaurant that he managed. Oh my God. So then I Hit punched him. him in the face. Get it, girl. And I told him to get out of the car. And three days later, I moved out. Big wow. Guy. That's fu- That's a... The fact that you had the patience to do that is fucking wild. I wouldn't been able to keep my mouth shut. Well, here's the thing. When people cheat or when people lie, oh, if they find out I hate that. They, that, you know, that you're on to them, they cover it up and they get better at doing it. Yes. So I wanted to wait so that I could really pin him down in the corner. Yeah. I should have been in the FBI. I would have been a great <laughs> detective. That's like, that's yeah. a, sto- that's a yeah. literal nightmare story. Yeah. And Luigi never cheated again. <laughs> Luigi never cheated again. <laughs> Do you know where he's at? Yeah, he's still in Venice, California. That's so crazy. At that bitch's house. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch's house. Imagine. At that host's house. He should Good have. Lord. And to this day, he's like, we never hooked up. I never had sex. And I was like, well, then that's on you because now you're getting a divorce and you didn't even get laid, idiot. You right? should have definitely had sex with that girl. Did you blow up his spot? <laughs> yes, right. What the fuck? If you're <laughs> yeah, going to spend right? the night with a girl, fuck yeah. her, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come back to me and be like, she held my hair back yeah, yeah, when I was vomiting don't. in the toilet. I was so drunk. Yeah, no. no. Tender from back. No. Back. Get your little uncircumcised dick sock. <laughs> oh. oh my god! I feel like you're yelling at me. This is this is this, is this, is this a fin dom? Yeah, is this, is this a fin dom? That's a fucking. Do you have an OnlyFans? I do. Oh my god! But I'm gonna delete it. What? Can I subscribe first? No, it's. Okay. I mean, you can. It's free. But do you show I'm any? Do you show it. nude photos? Photos? Well, after all the Playboy stuff that I had done, yeah, might as well. Yeah. I hire those photographers to take pictures of me, and oh. then I would sell all of those. But I'm. I never get back to anyone. I suck at yeah, that. Yeah, I don't press all the buttons. And I have it. Should like, we have it? I just. I, I wish I was better at it. Yeah. You probably make a fuck ton of money. Marty, will you take I did her really pictures good. for her? <laughs> I'm you sure say? Haley wouldn't mind. I said, Marty, will you take her pictures for her and not start uploading and managing? <laughs> yeah. I, need, I need like a team of people to yes. handle my messaging is what I need. Yes. They that's all good. have that. They all have that. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I had someone that would do that, I'd probably like keep it. But Sandra then like would do it for you. to my people. Right. I'll do it. You know, I'll, that's I'll what you The thing is, nine times out of 10, they like it. A couple girls here did it. It's not about the nude photos. Once you see when they see you fully nude, 
the, the fantasy about that's over. They want to have a relationship with you, pretend that you're the girlfriend. So mm-hmm. they're just hearing from you every day, like, how was your yep. day? You running back saying to them, how was your day? Like, you know, oh, I, you know, I can't wait to talk to you again tomorrow. Just, just a little of that, that kind of dialogue makes them feel like, like you're actually thinking about them or know their name or yeah. have yeah. that kind of, that's what they're craving. And I just, I am so extremely busy yeah. that I, yeah. I just cannot, I can't do it. And I've tried it on an airplane and then everyone just sort of. Mm. Oh, you yeah, tried yeah, like yeah. They, people know your messaging on the airplane. You know that airplanes have actually blocked OnlyFans now? Really? It's considered yes. a porn site. So now you can't even you can't sign even stroke on. off in the bathroom anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you have to download it to your, to your you, device. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't send messages. Well, we have nothing blocked at this fucking company. No. You no. can go on to you can go to an Al Qaeda website, Red. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I see we have them. We have them. Pull, pull yeah. it up. <laughs> but the airplane's the only time I would really have time to sit down and really get yeah. to work on but that. I feel like that's something too like people like price out and age out of that and like success out of that it's like yeah. I know people who do it like we have friends who are like adult film stars and they make a boatload of money but that's their primary job yeah so it's like that's what they do but I guess if you're trying to do other things it would just get exhausting yes how long are you in New York for Sunday oh I mean I've been here for a week I guess when you release this what episode, else are you doing are we the, 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 the biggest one Oh yeah, <laughs> y'all are my favorite. Are you doing podcasts? Are you doing? Any, are you going on Watch What Happens Live? I got asked to do a couple of shows, but I'm taking a small break from stand up. Yeah, yeah. My brain is fried yeah, yeah, yeah. from yeah. all of the the stuff that I'm doing. So I got I got asked to do Comedy Cellar last night. Oh, nice. Yeah, and that's I, awesome. It's just weird. I'm just like I any other time. Yeah, yeah. I'll well, I, I want to get to a place where I can say no to comedy seller. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, that's a huge room. Well, treat them Just like dirt; they stick like mud. That's what they say. Chew up. Make them hang on a little bit. Well, thank you so much for coming on our oh show. God, this has been lovely. We Thanks really appreciate it. Um, check out First Date Podcast with Lauren Compton. Everyone, highly, highly, highly recommend. Do you are your episodes all like filmed out already? Are you have more people coming on than anyone you can tease? Um, we've got Matt Rife coming on. I've got. Uh, oh, we have such big guests. He's my favorite that's like scheduled so far. Um, I think Tony Hinchcliffe is coming on. Ooh, love. Um, I just had Mark Normand. Oh, he's, oh he's great. He's been on our show. Yeah, we've had him. I think yeah. he's I ran into his ex girlfriend in a hot tub in the Hamptons. Who? At that Mark party. Norman's? Mark Normand's oh, ex girlfriend. That. That, and that she was in the hot tub by herself. Really? Yes. And she was like talking all this shit about him. Wow. <laughs> well, he's next. Yeah. <laughs> he's coming out, I think, next week. Oh, there you go. You um, got to have Danny on, right? I mean, I'm sure you've talked about that. That would crush. Danny. Danny Brown. Brown. Oh, I've had Danny Brown on. Oh, you have. All right. We just haven't released his yet. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, I Is think they're trying to get Theo Vaughn on. Oh, oh that'd be good. awesome. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's, I've, I've probably got. 15 episodes that I filmed oh my God, that haven't been that. released yet and they're all pretty fucking I want to do that. I want to work for like yeah. one month and then they take the rest of the year off. I'm addicted to it though. Me too. You find yeah. yourself like, you're like, every time they ask me, they're like, hey, it's Sunday night. Do you want this person? And I'm like, I'm there. Yeah, because yeah. you stockpile them. Marty, Man. can we get that on the record, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> no, I said work for one month straight and then not come in for the rest of the year. <laughs> right. I'm having be, so much clear. fun podcasting. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know. I would have yeah, so much it's fun. Yeah it's, yeah, it's our full-time job. Well, thank you for coming in, Gorge. Thank you. We'll see you around. Thanks.